today's video i'm going to be showing you my new devastator build uh, this is an anomaly power build i'm going to go over all the different pieces of gear and show you exactly why this is so powerful and how it's so powerful i've gotten over 300 mil damage with this many 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 times i've been doing a lot of legendary carries on twitch definitely go check it out if you need some help uh and yeah so we're gonna go over the build right now and exactly how it works the skills and where the skill tree so first i'm going to show you the gear you can see the three set is the size of a commander so now one big thing you want about this build is a lot of status power we're gonna have a ton of status power to try to make the bleeds as strong as possible because the three piece seismic commander increases your damage towards bleeding targets by that also applies to the bleed that you're dealing as well. Like if the bleed's on them, it's also being boosted. Not just by the status power, but that as well. All the multiplicative buffs. So the first, this is just a basic purple helmet. I would love to have the size of the commander helmet, but I feel like this right here is probably going to be end up being stronger anyway because of one of my mod choices and how you can mix and match it. Uh, you'll see that here in just a moment. So this is just a basic purple helmet with anomaly power cooldown and status power. I uh, have blood shock for that extra, or the uh, bleed afflicted whenever you use the earthquake. I felt like the bleed from the earthquake is much better because you can hit more targets with it rather than relying them to be within so many feet of you like the golem perk. Uh, so I went with that as well as the extra earthquake. You can see the seismic commander chess piece. So this, uh, I'm going to be using Impale as you can see, but it's going to hit two additional targets and I went ahead and put on Bloody Boost for another 15% damage against bleeding targets. So that adds up to 65% so far. You can see Anomaly Power, Status Power, Cooldown Reduction already come on those. Seismic Commander Legs, same thing, Anomaly Power, Status Power, Cooldown Reduction. The Tier 3 on this thing is amazing, 25% extra damage to bleeding targets phenomenal so you have a total all together of 90 percent more damage to bleeding targets 25 plus 15 is 40 plus the 50 is 90. so then the rivers of blood mod there you see i just left that one on there you can change that if you want but this really really is good at executing um elites and stuff like that because uh obviously you see whenever there's an enemy afflicted by bleed which you can do with your melee and of course, as you see, we're running the Earthquake, you can apply the Bleed. They will take 50% increased skill damage to, uh, from Impale. Now this is a little twist. This, I did a lot of testing with this, and I felt like this was absolutely the strongest route to go. And I'm going to explain the little trio thing I have going on here. And a specific weapon that is boosting your stats a lot, a lot, a lot whole lot like the amount of damage you get from this i don't know why that everybody doesn't run it exactly like this on every anomaly power build and i'll be doing further testing to see like the pyro and stuff with this but this just it's it's it's, it, it's amazing uh so i'll explain those we're gonna come back to those after i show you the boots so then you see seismic commander boots the reason why i feel like the mask i don't have to run to get that you know two more impales uh, is because I ran Captain Hunter on these boots. Obviously, you have anomaly power on that mask rather than this max health. And eventually, I'm sure I will get that mask and maybe make this a little bit better. But this absolutely dominates the way it is right now. Uh, so you can see the boots have already on them the tier three for that third earthquake. And of course, I put Captain Hunter on there for 25% more damage to elites. So now back to this. So you increase your anomaly power by 15% of your resistance gear score. So it's a percentage. So if I had 40% resistance piercing, it will increase my anom anomaly power by 20%. Because that's half, right? As well as no resistance against fortified. Increase your resistance piercing by 50% of your armor piercing value. So you want to get some armor piercing in there, but not in your skill tree. I want to show you how you would do that. So, if you get some armor piercing in there, you're going to gain more resistance piercing. If you gain more resistance piercing, you gain more anomaly power. 
So there is a god roll of a gun. It would look like this. Two things that you need on this to get that extra resistance piercing is the armor piercing you can see as the top attribute on this gun as well as first things first. So all you're going to do with this gun is shoot it once, reload it, and then you have a buff the whole time. So I'm going to show you this buff and I'm going to shoot, reload, and this is still there, I had already done it. Uh, it didn't actually increase. So actually what we're going to do is I'm going to show you this. You'll be able to see 152k. And I'm going to show you my resistance piercing. 45% from the class. Two. See 30% from this gun right here. Just that comes on it. And then we reload to get that extra 30% and just leave it there. I went up to 160k as well as you'll be able to see I'm at 60% of both now. So that's very important. So we're going for 45%, 60% just by reloading a gun, holding it. Plus Fortress, a lot, lot more damage with your skills just by having this gun in your hand. So this little trio that you've got going on here is going to be able to basically remove most of the mitigation that some of these enemies will have that have armor or, you know, or uh, you'll be able to bypass all the armor piercing resistance piercing that you need to do extra damage on top of that there's some things i'm gonna go on off or go over in the class tree here in just a moment that will be able to make that number even crazy so the two guns i'm running all i'm running is reload guns so basically what we do we always have the pistol in our hand we can reload one just keep it there and just keep using abilities and your main So the other guns are just to swap and reload with pistol. Just like that. It would be that massive amount of damage you see that most people use just this enemo or however you pronounce it right. The moaning winds that you get from this shotgun. I'm also getting this and it applies vulnerable. To all the enemies around me. So both have clip combustion. I feel like clip combustion is up every two seconds. So you can basically just swap back and forth, back and forth. And those the clip combustions always up off of each other. So you have a lot of uptime on just base damage. Not only that, there is a huge, huge factor that plays into this. All your multiplicative buffs on your build bump those numbers like that 96,000 clip combustion way up so it's not just going to be 96,000 your anomaly power has nothing to do with that your firepower has nothing to do with that it's literally just multiplicative buffs buff that things that, that numbers damage so that 96,000 is getting buffed by the damage from the three piece set the damage from the 15% bleed and the damage from the 25% bleed. you get 90% more damage from this if it's an elite it's even more it's the 25 percent damage from this so these two are going to be some of the highest damage dealt just by swapping and reloading the only thing i noticed to keep yourself aware of say i am in an enemy's face i go through my rotation i swap to the reload gun swap to the other reload gun come back to the pistol on my hand i noticed that that first shot buff disappears when you come back so you just shoot a bullet reload it Good to go constantly 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 keep using your melee using these reloads and shoot that one shot on top of using your abilities your melee is so important and i'm going to show you you can see the three skills we're running earthquake back pretty quick golem it's whatever you want you don't want to add any duration to golem because i feel like the buffs that you can get from it from the class tree if you increase it for too long then you don't have that up as much then you can see impale it doesn't need to be you know real crazy it's basically an execution so now we're going to go over to the class tree so the class tree you can see anomaly power cooldown for seismic anomaly power and then this is why we're running golem you get the 45 percent anomaly power then this is just to reduce some of the cooldown for golem as well as this this super important so what happens when we have resistance piercing we gain more anomaly power whenever we have more 
armor piercing the game, more resistance piercing, so on and so forth. So we got it up to 60%. If we go and melee just three enemies, that's it. Because that two is 30%, one more is 45%. We're already at 60%. We break the 100% resistance piercing. And at 100%, you bypass all resistance that enemy has towards you from your abilities. So all you have to do is just run, slam three enemies in a little group, and you have a 100% resistance piercing. Huge, huge, huge noticeable. Very noticeable. All right, then you see we went with the, the resistance piercing just to keep the base up. Anomaly power. More seismic cooldown. Anomaly power. So with this. 20% damage to enemies, or yeah, but enemies below 30% health. That's that execute from Impale that I was talking about. Especially on elites, because you have Captain Hunter. But with this, for just a little extra bleed duration to let the, uh, when you're playing solo, you can basically run up, hit melee an enemy, and they will bleed all the way out. Increase your anomaly power. This is the bleed damage. Uh, I definitely highly suggest that, because it's really high ticks. Then skill each. This is very, very strong because the more anomaly power you have, the more armor you're going to have. The, every time you literally go up and melee a bunch of enemies, you get resistance piercing. But even if you bypass 100%, the, if you had 200%, you're still gaining more anomaly power from this from unstoppable force that whenever you have uh, resistance piercing, you gain 50% of that as anomaly power. Blah, blah, blah. The mod I showed you. So that will increase that, and it'll increase your armor the higher your anomaly power is. So you'll become pretty much invincible as long as you are constantly meleeing enemies and doing your rotation. And then this, obviously, whenever your skill ends, like Golem, it'll keep your armor and resistance up. And then resistance piercing, of course, you need as much of that as you can get. Bleed damage, again, just like this one. And then 50% more damage from seismic skills. So the most damage you're going to be dealing with anything is the earthquake, and then that impales that execute, of course. So yeah, you can see how it's ran, exactly how to run it, like the mods and all that. Uh, this gun is going to be the hardest thing for you to get out of this whole thing. My suggestion is if you can't have Fortress, just get something that has armor piercing, status power, and first things first. Start off with that. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's a, a secondary or one of the primaries. I am using these two because I notice there's a lot more damage because you're in everything's face so much trying to melee it whenever you have two reload guns. If you're comfortable with switching to another reload gun here and you have a primary with these stats, that's perfectly fine. All ever, however you want to run it. If you want to run it without messing with the secondary at all, and you just want to run that gun, whatever it is, as a primary, and then one reload gun, perfectly fine. However you want to do it. The most damage I feel like I am doing is these two with this gun, reloading both guns, getting that massive burst damage from both guns. But yeah, guys, if you liked the video, definitely hit that like button. Uh, comment for any other ideas or any other builds. I'm going to be making a new character here soon. You guys let me know what you want to see. I'll try to come up with it. Thank you guys. I'll catch you in the next.